May your behavior and your conversation be such that everyone who sees or hears you can say, This man reads the life of Jesus Christ. It's from The Way, a little collection of sayings by St. Jose Maria Escriva, highly recommended. You know, today's first reading and the Gospel both talk about bearing good fruit, right? How a tree can be known by the fruit. What does that mean for the Christian? Right? It means living a life focused on heaven. Although we live in this world, we don't belong to the world. In this material world, it's fleeting, it's finite, it's passing. At the end, it just ends in death. But, as St. Paul reminds us in the second reading, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have victory over sin and death. We have victory over the world. I think so often it's easy to be concerned about the world, right? We think about successes in this world, um, progress according to the world, perfection in this world's way of thinking. But let's focus on eternal life. Let's focus on Christ. Let's focus on this victory that we've won. And when we think about it, that's what allows us to be generous, to be patient, to be more forgiving. We're not tied down by this world. We shouldn't be. We can't be. You know, as Christians, we have this message for the rest of the world. It's all going to be all right because we have Jesus. So as we go forth into the world this Sunday, this week, let's make this our message. Let's make sure that we are truly living, truly evangelical lives, proclaiming the gospel by our words and our actions. May our lives be such that those who hear us, those who see us, can really say, yes, this person knows Jesus. And that's my game plan for the eighth Sunday of Ordinary Time.